I tell you, great majority of people, maybe you, maybe someone you know, they rather tell a lie to themselves about the situation at hand, about the reason why they don't have what they want, be it money, be it job, be it a woman, be it a car, be it relationship with their children, anything. Friends, why they don't have more friends, why they're so lonely. The majority of the people in the world lie to themselves for the simple reason that the lie, that the story is much more pleasant or much less painful than the actual truth. That very few, very few have the courage to admit to themselves. The sad part is not realizing that by admitting that, by admitting the harsh, cold, distasteful truth to themselves, they will be on the platform to jump to success. In other words, they will be halfway there by simply admitting the cold, bitter pill of truth that they have to admit to themselves. I am not successful because of this. I don't have money because of this. I don't have the woman I want, the life I want because of this. And you know, the most interesting part, the kicker, most of us, most of us know exactly why. We know why we don't have the things we don't want. We, we want, excuse me, I misspoke. We know why we don't have the things we want. We know why we don't have the life we want, but we are powerless against giving up our uh, routine, giving up the, the habits that got us to where we are. We are powerless against them. That's why we, we just ignore it. We go through life every day, morning, noon, night, Another day, another day, another weekend, another month, another Christmas, another year. We completely look the other way when we know if we turn left, the truth is standing right there like a pink elephant, but we don't want to look at it. Because we know looking at it means you have to give up. It's like, um, forgive me for using this, this crude example, but it's just an example, honestly, that just comes to my mind. Let's say a person who does not have control over his appetite. He wants to lose weight. He wants to fit into nice clothes. He wants to look thin. He doesn't want to be stared at as the obese person, but he just doesn't have what it takes to avoid eating that, you know, eating the foods that he wants. When it comes to hungry time, the urge to eat that cheeseburger and a shake and French fries is stronger. He'll say, I'll start tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I know, I know I'm doing the wrong thing. I know, but the urge is stronger and they are just not willing to pay the price. Why does anyone doesn't succeed? They're not willing to pay the price. They're all quick to say, I want this, I want that, I want this, but they're not willing to pay the price. And the majority of us, majority of us, don't have the courage to admit to ourselves the reason why we are in the rut that we're in. I told one woman who was complaining about all her dates, all her dates, and she's in her late 50s and she's divorced twice and she has grown children and she was con complaining, this man is that, this man is this, this man is that, this man has this problem, this one has alcohol problem, this one has too many kids, you know, A to Z, all problems of, of these guys. And I, and I simply told her, please don't take what I'm saying in a wrong way. Please don't. But I would be not your friend. I would be lying to you if I didn't say, you know, you could benefit from realizing your true situation at hand and adjusting your expectations to where you are, where your sexual market value is in life. And, oh my God, 
she didn't take it well and neither did her friends how could you say a mean thing like that i said okay so you would rather that i tell her yeah you're right you know men, why men wanted someone younger and thinner with no baggage and no children they would they should choose someone who's divorced twice with kids and older and wrinkled and full of baggage and high expectations and not nearly the good looks you're right i should tell her that and that would be kind it's like telling a fat man, you know, you should continue eating uh, whatever you want, you know, uh, double cheeseburgers and french fries and shakes and followed by, by candy and then go sit in front of the TV and have your, uh, you know, potato chips and beer and continue this life, you know, you should, you know, why would you, why would you want to change anything and, and you know, put yourself through hardship? That's called lying to yourself because facing the reality and doing what you really need to do and foregoing the things that are getting you and have gotten you to where you are in life in exchange for having a complete new leaf, a sea change. To have what you never had before, do what you've never done before. All the best.